Okay, uh, for our vocabulary today, number one is horsepower, uh, which is basically the, the unit of measure for engine power. Um, most cars, most like family sedans, I think their horsepower is around maybe 150 to 200 horsepower, I think is normal, the normal range. Um, I, was, I was very happy because when we were in Texas, my truck was about maybe 400 horsepower. Oh. So, yeah, I loved it. <laughs> okay, next, dashboard. Uh, dashboard is basically the, the front area of your car, I think. It's the same word in Korean, right? No? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't know what's a vocabulary word. <laughs> uh, and actually, dashboard is, is also a, a term that you hear for a lot of um, UI um, or user interface programs. So, like, um, are you guys familiar with Microsoft Xbox, the, the gaming console? So, like, when you go on your Xbox, the main screen where you see everything, go online, see different yeah. options, they call that the dashboard. Yeah. yeah. Number three, down the road, is an uh, expression for saying in the future. Uh, so... I, I actually use it a lot, actually, down the road, mm -hmm. um, you know, saying things like, uh, I should save up for when my daughter goes to college down the road, mm -hmm. or uh, if I want to buy another truck down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, Ludacris. Uh, Ludacris is not the rapper or actor, mm -hmm. uh, but something that's just kind of insane. Um, it can be something that's so crazy that it's really funny mm -hmm. uh, or ridiculous, um, which uh, I'm, I'm not sure why the rapper chose the name Ludacris because he's not that funny. <laughs> but I, I, actually, I actually think that Ludacris is a pretty good actor, to be honest. <laughs> and, and by the way, he spells his name wrong. Ludacris is, is spelled incorrect. Oh. On his version. That's like the cool way. <laughs> okay, number five, uh, set the bar high. To set the bar high is uh, basically to have high expectations. Mm -hmm. You can also say set the bar, which is to kind of say uh, to set the standard oh. about something. Yeah. So, um, so when you guys get here, I try to set the bar high so that everyone speaks a lot. Uh, number six, sweet. Uh, I, I know that it kind of makes sense. We already know that like when something's sweet, it's very nice or thoughtful or kind of uh, very heartwarming. But in this way that this guy's talking about it, uh, especially someone that's like a younger male, when he's talking about something is, is sweet, he's talking about like an awesome, like some, just something that's, that's great or awesome. Mm -hmm. So, um, the, the example is really good actually. It says, the company has just settled a sweet deal worth $50 million. Yeah. So it's like if you hear, oh, uh, hey, by the way, this holiday, if you work, we're going to pay you uh, two times as much. Oh, sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's how we use it. It's, it's been around since maybe the 90s, I think. I think it's right to, to short time speed. Uh, no, totally different. Yeah, 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 yeah. Short and sweet uh, is is actually kind of more of a business term that sounds like make, give me good information and be quick. But like in this way, when you say something sweet like the idiom, it, it's like saying awesome. Oh, awesome, sweet. Yeah. But uh, I when when someone says it's sweet, it's it's usually like very casual. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So you never really hear people like talking to their coworker and they're like, "Oh, sweet, high five." <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's our vocabulary for.